Welcome to this video on symbolics. In MathCAD Prime we have two math engines, a numeric engine and a symbolics engine. In our first example we'll take a look at both engines and see where we can use both and where we only can use the symbolics engine. So let's start with a simple example where we will add two fractions, first numerically. Just press the equal sign we get a decimal number with three decimals by default, but this can be changed to 15. To calculate the sum symbolically, go to the Math tab, click the Symbolics button, and here is where we get all the symbolic functionality. The one we are going to use is the right arrow here at the top. This is the symbolic equal sign. This is an exact result. If you want to use this result in your calculations, you can backward assign it to a variable. Click in front of the expression, press colon and then the name, for instance, frac. Now the variable frac will contain the exact value. Let's see. Control period for symbolic calculation. If we have evaluated the fraction numerically here, frac will contain the numeric result up to 15 decimal places. If we instead have used the keyword float, let's try, go to symbolics, press float, and then, for instance, 10 decimals. Frac will contain the result with just 10 decimals, and we can't get more decimals using the math formatting. In our next example, derivatives, we can only use symbolic calculation. Here, let's calculate the derivative of the function f and we can backward assign it to a function named df of x. And now df of x will contain this result and we can use df of x as any other function. When calculating indefinite integrals, we can only use symbolics. Again, control period, and we can backward assign it to a function, for instance, capital F. Now capital F of x will contain this symbolic result. Definite integrals. Here we can use numeric calculations and symbolic calculations. Note, using numeric calculation we get almost zero, but when using symbolic calculation we get exact zero. If we have undefined variables in the limits in the definite integral. We can't use numeric calculation. So let's compute this using symbolics. This may not be the result we had expected. That's because a and b can be negative. So let's delete the result and go to symbolics and click assume. So let's assume that a is positive, the same with b. And now we get the result we want. Assume can be very useful in connection with solving. Here we have a polynomial equation. Let's solve it. Go to Symbolics, press Solve. We have three solutions, one real and two complex solutions. We want to get rid of the complex solutions. So here after Solve, press Shift-Enter and go to Symbolics, Assume, and again Symbolics, go to the Modifiers, and click Real. And this is X, it must be real. So now we have the only real solution. In our next example, we'll take a look at some of the simple but useful keywords. Expand. The Expand command expands powers and distributes products over sums. 
click, Symbolics, Expand, and we have the expression expanded. Factor factors an expression and goes in the other direction. Symbolics, Factor, and we are back. If we want to give fractions a common denominator, we must use Factor. Collect collects like terms. Symbolics collect comma x comma y. Simplify can in some cases be used instead of factor and collect, but not instead for expand, as expand often gives a more complicated expression. Here we get the same results as the collect, and here the same as factor. Let's try with the sum of the two fractions. Nothing happens, because the expression we hope to get is more complicated than the first expression. But to rewrite an expression like this, sine squared minus cosine squared using the trick formulas, we must use simplify. Finally, the explicit keyword. We have three defined variables with units. We want to evaluate a divided by b plus c, where we first substitute all variables and then calculates the result. If we calculate symbolically, it seems that the units are not recognized. They are black instead of blue. So go to the Calculation tab, and in Calculation Options, click Units Constants in Symbols, and Recalculate. Now the units are blue. So let's try the keyword explicit with the modifier all. I'll delete this, go to symbolics, find explicit, comma, the modifier all, and I'll just write it here. Here we have all values substituted instead of the variables. No calculation has been performed. Let me press equal sign. Now we have the result. And we can see that the variables are substituted correctly. Again, we can assign the result to a new variable and use it in our calculations. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.